Hi everyone, Sunfire Fire here. So, um, I am going to Kansas City next week, um, next Tuesday. Today is um, Sunday, June 5th. Um, and I'm kind of excited. I don't, I actually don't really know what I'm going to do there. I just wanted to go to Kansas. And then, so it's been folding up because I just want to, I want to see, I haven't, I've been here 28 years and I haven't seen the United States, so why not? Um, and I heard that there are a lot of cool museums down there. Um, and um, I accidentally booked my flight um, from Boston to Kansas City. I kept putting um, to Kansas City, Missouri. And um, yeah, so that's something I did. I didn't notice it until I booked it. But it's only 20 minutes away from my um, from my hotel, which is in Kansas City, Kansas. So, um, yeah. So, I had to call my bank and tell them that I'll be in Missouri and Kansas. Um, so, um, I... Um, the reason that happened is that Kansas... Uh, like, the internet, I don't know, just loves messing... The internet loves messing with us, so... Um, I typed in Kansas City, Kansas so many times and it just always brought me back to Kansas City, Missouri when I was looking up flights. So, um, but I just, but at that point, I just, when I found the flight, I didn't look at when it changed to Kansas City, Missouri. So that was, that was my fault. But I mean, um, when I called the, um, the hotel, it's 20 minutes from, the Kansas City Airport in Kansas and the 20 minutes from the Kansas City Airport in Missouri. So I'm going to have to pay like a taxi or a lift. Um, the same amount of money for if I, whichever airport I came into. But hopefully um, it's at, my flight is at 7.20 a.m. So I'm going to have to get up at like, I don't know, 4.30 or something. Because I want to make sure that I have everything. Because I'm just so, I don't, I'm just so excited for this. Because I'm going by myself. I'm not going with anyone else. I'm going by myself. I booked the, I booked it. I booked the flight. I booked the um, hotel all by myself. So I'm very proud. I'm becoming an adult. It only took 28 years. But I'm, I'm coming out of my shell. <laughs> um... So, um, I, so finally, I always keep saying that I'm going to do the Boris Karloff, um, uh, go over the Boris Karloff, um, biography by, um, Scott Allen Nolan. And it never happens because, you know, life, life gets, just gets in the way. School gets in the way. Work gets in the way. You get tired and Yeah. But since um, I took a week off from work and I don't know, I should have gone to um, Kansas this week. I don't know why I did because like this is in between class. This is we only get one week in between classes and I think two weeks for um, like um, holiday season, but um, winter holiday season. But um, I should have gone this year because. Next week is going to be week one of my seminar. So, but, um, good thing is I already did the homework for week one. So I can just lay back and chill. I, um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to go over this. It's already four minutes and I'm um, just rambling. I'm finally getting to the book Four. so I'm talking about for this, I'm going to, try to incorporate into my thesis. I'm still checking out some of the books that I want to read from for my thesis. Um, and um, yeah, and so my, like for my, my seminar course, which is coming up next on tomorrow, it starts tomorrow. Um, I, yeah, I have to do an anti-bibliography. So they want my sources 
eight to 10 sources in this class. So I have to come up soon. I already have like seven books in total, but I do, still don't know if I want to use all of those books. Um, that's including the, the Colin Clive one and the um, Woman in Horror one and the, um, I don't know if I want to use, um, what's his name? The dude who, I don't know why is his, it's James. I can, I can see his face. He, um, that Greek guy who, who did the makeup for Boiler's Call Up and the Wolfman for all Universal Studios monsters. Um, so, um, but, um, yeah, so let's get into this. Because I'm just going to talk and talk. Um, if you don't know already, that's what I do on this channel. Just talk and talk. Random stuff. Um, so, basically, this is... I forget how much this cost on Amazon. Um, I believe I got it new. Yeah, the, I'm, yeah, I got this. I got this new, but it's... It's a wear and tear because obviously I kept it. I kept it in my backpack all the time, so I kept it in my backpack all the time. So it would obviously start pages would start bending. So yeah, and obviously you can see from the note, no, um, the notepads, the sticky notes it bent. So yeah, and um, also, so I really liked so. My overview of this book, so, um, I really liked it. Um, it was, um, I'm saying um too many times. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> I really liked it. It was, it, it, it did help me, um, understand a few things about him. For one, I didn't know that his last name was, I mean, his, not his last name. His um, real name wasn't Boris Karloff. And um, it's funny because um, so he and it's funny because like he changed his name and so many people went by just the name Karloff because everyone knew, you know, who you're talking about. Um, when, when you just say Karloff on his on the posters for him. And I didn't know that Frankenstein wasn't supposed to be originally green. Um, he was actually uh, flesh colored, which would make sense because Frankenstein used flesh colored people, body limbs. So how did he get the green? It just happened. Someone just po made a poster with him. Green is green. So it stuck. And so now pop, cult pop culture makes him makes Frankenstein um Frankenstein monster green. Um also he was one of the founders of um the SAG um Association for Actors, Screen Actors Guild. Yeah, that's that's it. Mm -hmm. So um so props to him for doing that. Um yeah and I, I really like this book. It was um it reminded it um i didn't really know um it, i i didn't really know that um bella lugosi and boris cop actually did have a they had a fair relationship with each other even though they were competing for roles a, a fairly good relationship with each other even though they're competing for roles um i um i liked that um it I uh this goes by the same format as the Colin Clive book, um where um they talk a, a little bit about his background in the beginning obviously and then they go over the list of movies and like what happened during this movie, so um like um which one? Black Friday, I I like this movie Black Friday um it was um. It was it was Lugosi and Karloff's last film together, which was um, kind of which was kind of nice, and um, it was just I think that's where the the the, the Friday the Thirteenth 
kind of cult classic like how that I think that's where it came from that's um yeah and he um he was I know sometimes he would um he he was a gangster sometimes on shows especially that in that Dick Tracy episode I saw um with um where he was in it he was a gangster and he, like people criticized him for having an Italian um not having an English uh British in English British accent um most because um it was at that time this was when like when Italians were still technically were still kind of seen as were not really seen greatly yet I mean um and so like a lot of that the reason why um people were criticizing for that is because gangsters are Italians and I feel like the reason why gang gangs most people put Italians as gangsters is because this is because they couldn't really get they couldn't really get jobs they could and that's why you have the Irish mafia that's why you have left that's why you have black people stereotypes of um they commit crimes all the time because a lot of people wouldn't let them in to do things um to get jobs or anything um so uh, like I know like in um in Boston they would also have they would um when um they would for when the Irish came they would have no blacks no Irish and no dogs on their signs of the stores so um I think that's why it contributes to the stereotypes of of what gangsters should be like um and um I don't want to go over all obviously I can't go over it because I have so many notes um but I I do recommend this book if you want to um it I don't think this is the book for Boris call up but it's got a lot of um good I don't want to say primary sources because um I mean like most of the time when you're um most of the time when you're doing something like this you're going to have to use film and um well yeah I mean I yeah I would say primary sources because most of the time when you're doing something like this um especially for actors who are like who are um this old who are from a time period like this um film and um radio and media is the best source to go to primary source to go to and which i i realized like a few days ago is like i can't really find a lot of primary sources i probably could if i had a lot more time um if i had a lot of time to look for primary sources um but I, I would primarily need media that they participated in for um, primary sources. Um, I just, I, 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 I would recommend this. I wouldn't say this is the book to the book of all books, like the Holy Bible of Boris Karloff. But I, like, obviously, if you, but I feel like this is a very good start. To learning his um about him and like um the behind the scenes of Boris Karloff so um I would wholeheartedly recommend this book and um Scott Allen Nolan he did a great job so kudos to him um so um yeah that's all that I have to say for this book and um Probably, I will do some, I don't want to say vlogging, um, 
I'll, I'll like probably get back to you on the hotel um, when I get to Kansas City and just check in. But or I'll tell you about it after. I don't know. But um, that's that's the other thing. I, I went in there with an itinerary. I didn't know why I wanted to go there. So I don't know what I want to see. I just want to be away from, from the house, from my job, from my family for a little bit. Um, so, um, that's all. And, um, yeah. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.